And because Kaizen means continuous improvement, that's our company goal and our goal for your sales department and dealership. Now, if you want to improve your sales skills, learn how to use psychology to close more car deals and receive unbiased dealership vendor product and service reviews, make sure you subscribe and then turn on the bell so you never miss out on learning anything new. The lucky 13 rules of goal setting that hopefully will help you along and help you guys make that discovery, okay? So getting right in there, the first thing is what is a goal? So this is where everybody talks. So somebody- Something you wanna achieve. Okay, what else? So it's on that first page where it says goal plan and there's a spot on there, what is a goal? I want you guys to write that in. It's kind of about halfway through the page. Anyone else? Come on. Mm. How about a, a target? How about a target with a completion date? A target with a completion date's a good definition. A target with a completion date. Or, this is my favorite one, a dream with a timeline. A dream with a timeline. A target or a dream with a timeline. So why is why are having clear goals important? Makes you better. Keeps you growing. Okay. Yeah, you can Something give you to achieve the motivation. Yeah, it gives you the next place to go, right? Plan for how to get to where you want to go. Plan how to get to where you want to go. Okay, those are good ones. So I agree with all of them for a couple things. One, we talk about planning where you want to go. If we wanted to go to California, if we jumped on 80 and just took it west, would we get to California? Probably eventually. Yeah. Eventually, right? It goes straight through the country. I mean, it goes from one end to the other. It goes east to west. However, I think you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. If we didn't plan it and we just jumped on 80, would we be efficient? Would we get to California in an efficient manner? Probably not. We probably, in fact, we might not even make it to California. Right, right, we may yeah. stop in Vegas, but we may never leave. <laughs> right? So we may never leave. So the point is, is that. We could get knocked off, and that's kind of the same thing. You guys make a goal, but you don't really have a plan to get to that goal, and you get knocked off, and then guess what? Now you're not even going after that goal anymore. You forgot. You're drunk in Vegas. So the point is, is that it does help you with that. Um, it allows you to make. Now, if we now if we planned out the 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 the, the drive, you know, if we planned every spot out, we went ahead and planned places we we're going to stop and rest and change drivers. Uh, we'd be obviously much more efficient. We'd get there much quicker. In fact, we might even be able to do some cool things on the on the way there. We may be able to stop at the Badlands, see the Devil's Tower out in Dakota, something cool. You know, we may be able to do a few cool things and still go ahead and make it to California. So it, it gives us direction, right? Also, so when it gives us direction, it also leads to less decision making. Okay, it leads to less decision making. If you've already got it all planned out, you just follow the plan. Okay. You follow the plan. Um, anybody ever heard of Steve Jobs? Mm -hmm. He's a pretty smart guy, right? Pretty successful. What did he wear every single day to work? Jeans and a t-shirt, basically. Jeans and a black turtleneck every yeah. damn day. What did Einstein wear to work every day? Anybody know? A black, a white shirt and a black jacket and a black tie. You know why? You only got a certain amount of decision-making muscles in your brain each day, and after a while you get tired. You ever get to the point at the end of the night and you look at your wife and go, you make the decision, I'm done. I can't think of nothing else anymore. It works the same with discipline. It works the same with decisions, with anything. We only have a certain, why do you think it is you, you, you follow your diet all day long and then at night you end up eating a bunch of Whitey's ice cream after you promised yourself you wouldn't? Because you had all these discipline things you had to do all day, your muscles got tired, your discipline muscles got tired. Now, a whole nother subject, you can increase your discipline muscles just like you can't lift the weights by just continuing to put discipline issue things in front of you. But there is gonna be a certain point where you're at your resistance and you can't resist anymore. So it helps with less decision making. Also, it helps you measure your progress. So if I'm halfway to California and my goal is to be there in four days and it's the second day exactly, I'm exactly on track. If I'm five hours ahead of time, then I can stop maybe at the Badlands at, at the uh, wall drug, the largest drug store in America or something. You know, you can do something cool like that. 